What's going on you guys gaming addict here so apparently Recore has updated what this new patch and what the definitive edition is going to change of Recore. So let's get this do let's get this going. They're doing obviously they're doing the expansion, you know, you have another area of Far Eden you can explore. Which, you know, I'm hoping they make the overall game more, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? More immersive, because I feel like it was really lacking in the first one. The, you know, being immersive. They're doing a new companion. This is retarded, because this should have been in the game from the start. There's even upgrades for this damn robot in the original game. But the robot's not there. <laughs> but I digress. So now they have two new overworlds, whatever that means. I'm assuming, you know, Shifting Sands, it's other stuff like that. You know, two other entirely different regions. Ten new dungeons, that's cool. I didn't finish all the dungeons because some of the dungeons are, are repetitive and they're the same. Dynamic Sandstorms and Far Eden Shifting Sands regions, which that's interesting. See, that's what I was wanting more of that immersive feeling when you're playing record that's a huge thing it was missing two uh, new weapon modes three new weapon modes for uh you know her energy office switch to these instead of the charge shots interesting i wonder what they exactly mean by that is it like look different than her actually because the charge shots is just you know obviously holding whatever button it was to shoot and then you shoot you charge and you shoot the charge got pretty repetitive when you kept that was the only real different shots you had in the entire game but i'll have to look at back that this is important they went from 30 to seconds of load time to five seconds that is that needed to be in the original game but uh microsoft come on you guys like oh let's just keep going <laughs> uh optimize levels and area load time see <sighs> uh, let's just keep going okay prisma cores this is where people had issues they added new ones to the game to play rewards and, you know, to show up on the map at from far greater distances. That's good. Right here. Prism Tor Pro <laughs> Prism of Core is required to fix a single value for the entire E-Tower. Once you're in the E-Tower, you no longer need additional cores. If this would have been the original game, people would not be... People wouldn't have shit on Ray Core as much as they did. I know a lot of people... You know, shout out to Arsenal, me and that dude might get out of, get into it all the time, but he's still a good dude. This part right here needed to be in the original game. But I digress. The map. The map displays everything you need. Include prison course, chest, logs. That should have been in the original game. Because then this wouldn't have been so much of an issue. The map shows all visual parts of the map dungeon. Awesome. See, there was like a little... In order to get in dungeons, you had to collect these these little things to open up the dungeon. These little dungeon keys. See, right here, I'm hoping that those are in there too. Because that, w that was so frustrating that you couldn't find some of these things. Map markers improved. Awesome. Map improvements. Greater visuals. Detail. Better. Improvement zoom uh, functionality, more game elements show up, like power cell, audio logs, etc. <laughs> uh, let's just keep going. Fast travel, you know, I guess they did the fast travels better, which I didn't have a huge problem with the fast travel, but you know, improvement. All new gear for core bots. Armor stats now make each set vastly different from one another, and perks have been redefined and polished. Blueprint inventory now sorts by armor. Like, are you serious? It took an update, a definitive edition to get this? Improve the combo. Uh, let's go to combat. Improve the combo meter to encourage much higher combo amounts. With the ability to chain combos for long periods of time. Cool. They are actually building on the combat system. At a high combo, more than 10, the player now can start some, uh, can now keep some of the combo meter after using an extraction. Uh, what they mean there is when you're attacking someone and it gives you an instant extraction, it will let you keep the combo. Global 
weapon tuning, each <laughs> enemy health and damage balancing of late game improvements. Thank God. And then that's just general, you know, enhanced visuals, 20 new achievements. That's, that's 500 more. That's, that's pretty cool. Increased level cap from 30 to 40. I don't know about that. Four new bosses that they needed more bosses. They needed more people for you to hate, you know, for you to have a legit hate hatred towards. Variety UI and fixes, uh, core pooling. I guess it was like animations that was messed up. Audio for pickups, combat feedback, rewards. Dialogue from core bots and Violet is no longer in the core bot language and is readable. That <laughs> that should have been in the original game too. Now look, I just want to say something real quick. These are phenomenal changes that if this was came, if this was to have came out with the original game, Recore would have been considered a decent game for what it was and how much it cost. I, I you know it's the fact that this damn tank has updates and upgrades in the original one but it's not in the game oh i'm glad that you know mate look you guys with all these updates i know you know a lot of my viewer base definitely hate on this game but with, with these updates it's a 20 dollars game for the uh, definitive edition go out and buy it and try it i'm telling you guys if you guys can you know get w past what everyone's saying and you know Take the initiative and try it out yourself. But if, you know, if it left such a big scar from you in the original one, I wouldn't blame you for not buying it anyway, because these updates is ridiculous that it's taking a definitive edition to put these in here. But that's besides the point. This is Gaming Addict here. Definitely like the video if you found this informative or don't like it. It doesn't really matter to me. I uh, appreciate all the support that I've been getting here, here recently, you know. I really do appreciate it. You guys don't even understand how much I appreciate it. But this is Gaming Addict. I'm out of here. Peace.